This is the Arizona Mortgage Weekly. I'm your host, Joey Sampaga, and today we have a special guest. We have Mr. Gary Whitley. How are you doing, Gary? Very good, Joey. How are you this morning? I'm doing well, and you work with? I'm with Built by Referral Realty Group in the Southeast Valley. Okay, and I'm curious, how long have you been in business? Uh, about 12 years now. 12 years, wow. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen a lot of different trends and you know, in, in today's market. A lot of short sales, a lot of foreclosures. Yes, most definitely. Uh, and uh, what the reason why I have Gary here is to tell the differences between a short sale and a foreclosure. Well, Joey, uh, a short sale is typically someone that uh, a lot of times still occupy the home. Mm -hmm. They're uh, either current or not current in their payments, and they've fallen on some hardships, and they can't make the payments anymore, and they're, they're struggling. They're, they're on a hardship. So they have a realtor come in, list their home, uh -huh. uh, try to get a contract on it, and go to the bank and see if they will accept that if amount, accept which it. is generally the less money than what they uh, they owe on the home. All right. So for example, um, if let's say someone bought the home for two hundred thousand, and uh, uh, it, when you do some comparables on it, and it only comes out to let's say one fifty, uh, they owe two hundred thousand on it, or let's say one seventy, one eighty. Okay. Uh, but it's only worth 150. Yes, that would be considered a short sale. That's correct. Okay. Yes, yes. The the bank is willing to take less money on a sale than what is owed on the uh, balance of the mortgage. Now, from um, experiences as a mortgage officer, I know that uh, short sale processes can take forever. Yes, is that, that is. the case now? Well, yeah, unfortunately it is. It is getting better, but okay. uh, I usually tell my clients to expect uh, uh, roughly 90 days, uh, okay. maybe more. Sometimes we can do them faster than that. Sometimes it takes longer than that. It Got depends it. on the bank that you're working with. All right. So uh, do you work with both sides, the seller and the buyer? Uh, I do. Uh, I'll work with buyers on short sales and sellers on, on short sales, not necessarily in the same transaction, no. Okay, and now let's talk about uh, foreclosures, also known as REOs, real estate owned, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, now these are banked owned properties. Yes. Okay. Uh, these are properties that um, have uh, not uh, short sold. They have gone back to the bank. The mm -hmm. bank now has them on their books, and the bank's not in the um, industry, or they're they're not in the business to to own homes. Mm -hmm. So they tend to go a little bit quicker. Okay. Uh, there again, uh, you're listed. You get a contract on it. You send it to the bank. They're a little bit quicker because they want to get it off their books. Sure. And uh, I find that that can be a 30, 60 day uh, transaction a lot of times. 30, 60 days. Okay. Uh, now, with REO properties, back then before the flood of REOs or foreclosure properties, um, foreclosures were also always known as great deals. Yes. You know, uh, of course, you know, you, you have things to worry about, whether it's a, a good in good condition or you know the inside or outside or cabinets have been stolen or blah 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 um, is that the case still today are REOs uh, still a good deal yes they, they can be they can be still a good deal you just have to realize that most of them uh, joy are uh, as is condition mm -hmm. okay so you need to do your due diligence and you need to find out uh, what uh, what condition the property is in and, and make make a, a good educated decision on whether that's uh, still of good value. But sure. yes, there, there are some very, very good deals out there. There, there are a lot of investors that are buying foreclosures with uh -huh. uh, some good positive cash flow sure. at the very beginning. Yeah. Well, uh, and also the viewers out there, don't be afraid to take a look at these, you know, dream what could be out there for you because there are loans out there like the 203K that uh, do allow you to um, borrow money to be able to fix up certain things. Okay. That's, that's correct. So, so mm -hmm. make sure you look into that, speak with your lender, uh, give either one of us a call. My contact information is over here. Gary's is right in the links and docs. So uh, give us a call if you have any questions on that. Um, any, any tips that we can provide our viewers uh, if they're having a hardship, okay, and they're considering doing a short sale? Yes. Uh, my my best advice would be to uh, talk to an agent that has some experience with short sales uh -huh. and talk to the bank right away. Okay. Uh, the earlier, the better to communicate, open that line of communications, not only with the bank, but to your realtor. And he should be able to give you some options. Okay. There are options other than just short selling your home. And if uh, if you get a hold of somebody that, that really knows their, their, their short sales in the, in the industry, uh -huh. that they'll take you that direction. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. One other tip I wanted to throw in there is don't drain your bank accounts. Um, 
because I, I've sp spoken with so many people who, who try to, they use their credit cards, they drain their bank accounts, they drain their IRA, and they still ended up foreclosing on the property. Yes. So don't be afraid of the, the short sale because, yes, it will be on your credit, but it's not as bad as a foreclosure. So just get out of it, start over. There's nothing wrong with starting over. That is correct. And, and the earlier you start that process, the better off you're going to be. So just like Joey said, do not drain your bank account. That's right. Gary, thank you so much. Thank you, Joey, for having me today. Very really helpful it. information. And again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call. Until next time, you guys have a great day. Take care and God bless. Bye.